This first panel argues that are more even than odd numbers, but it doesn't work. If you add two odd numbers or two even numbers, the result is even. If you add an odd and an even number, the result is odd. So does this mean there are twice as many even numbers as odd ones? These statements are individually true. The conclusion, however, is really inaccurate. These addition rules do not count how many numbers exist. They only describe what happens when you combine them. In reality, every odd number pairs with exactly one even number, and so there is the same amount of odd numbers as there are even ones. This second panel proposes melting coins and selling the melted materials for profit, which also doesn't work, unless for scientific purposes and in reasonable amounts, melting coins is illegal. But even if it weren't, melting coins will not give you a profit, actually it's the exact opposite. Very old coins were made of precious metals like gold and silver, but modern ones are just cheap like zinc and aluminum, and they are only worth their face value, meaning the number printed on them just like paper money, and even the older coins are worth much more in their original shape because of their historical value and collector demand. Fun fact, many coins have ridges around the edges because, like I said earlier, coins used to be made of gold and silver, and some people literally shaved off parts from the sides and sold them separately. After a while, governments came up with this trick to stop them from doing that. The ridges made it obvious when someone had tampered with a coin, 